now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Look at that beautiful snow on the Sandy Ann Pass Road. You can see active precipitation at Mount Bachelor. Been watching all these roads. Willamette Pass got fogged up again. I could see the road not too long ago, but we do have active system going along the Cascades right now. So active, in fact, that we can barely see the lodge here on the Mount Bachelor Outback lift. It is a whiteout condition up there right now, which is part of the reason we are under a winter weather advisory for the Cascades and some of our higher elevations. Not seeing more than an inch or snow of accumulation here on the snow stake, but we are expecting by the time we get through Sunday that we could see anywhere from 12 to 24 inches of snow, depending on what part of the Cascades you are looking at. We do have a winter storm watch. This starts for us on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. I think it is. Yeah, 7 a.m. And it goes until Sunday at 4 p.m. here in Deschutes County. This is where we are seeing the possibility for some snow accumulation and some weather activity happening a bit more in those parts of the region than the others. You'll see on our future track, the lower elevations, more looking at some rain, but we could see some accumulation in those higher elevations and the east slopes. Here on your satellite radar image, you can see there is some activity happening, but it is starting to lighten up. We're anticipating that the storm should really lighten up by the time we get to midnight, but we do have a chance and you'll see on a future track for snow through most of the day tomorrow, a break and then the next storm comes in on a Saturday morning. Our temperatures today only got up into the upper 30s, low 40s for some areas. A much cooler day today. Nothing that we didn't anticipate. We also saw some stronger winds. We got up close to 20 miles per hour in Redmond. This is starting to calm down. Again, nothing we did not anticipate. We knew the system was dropping in. We saw this, this uh, trough coming down. It is now actively moving off to the east. We have that break from Friday into Saturday, but look what's behind it. This is what's coming in on Saturday. You can see the cooler temperatures and and a nice wide deep trough that brings us what we're about to see here on our future track that chance for snow all the way along the cascades into tonight watch what happens we start to dry out here within the region just a few clouds you see things lighten up and back off by the time we get to tomorrow night it does not last for long because by the time we get to saturday morning this next round of snow comes right on down you can see some heavier snow in the darker blue lighter snow in our upper elevations and this is just the start of the system Saturday morning at seven o'clock when that winter storm watch begins. It starts to move across the higher elevations. By the time we get to five o'clock, you see some rain in the lower elevations, snow moving through the region all the way through until we get to Sunday afternoon at two o'clock, but that is not it. We have another system that is starting to move in. More chances for precipitation, specifically snow on the Cascades all the way through Monday break on Tuesday, more potential for Wednesday. Accumulation possibility through Friday morning, four to five inches there on the Cascades. Not seeing anything begin for us until we get closer to Saturday morning. Now we start to see some accumulation again, higher elevations down into possibly the Bend area. The temperatures through all of this are going to be cooler for a bit, warm, and then cool off again. Here's where we are right now with those temperatures, high 20s to those upper 30s. With our overnight temperatures, we drop down pretty close to average 24, I think is right about where we're supposed to be. Across the region, we're looking at high teens to high 20s. Lapine's higher elevations, always a bit cooler there. Tomorrow's daytime temperatures, right about average to maybe a degree or two warmer. Our warmest day is going to be on Saturday in the low 50s, and then you'll notice we begin to cool on Sunday, cool down even more, and we're back to below average by midweek next week.